Hi, this is Roger Nocker from KPR Management Solutions. Today I'm going to be uh, showing you how you can easily create a sales analysis dashboard uh, from a spreadsheet using a free software called ClickSense. So in front of me I've got a spreadsheet, it's pharmaceutical data. On the first tab I've got sales data. This is essentially the, the value of the sales and here's the number, the volume, the prescriptions. On the next tab I've got products, all categorized by market. I've got it by doctor, by territory, and by months. So that's the data, it could be in a database. In this case, it's just in a spreadsheet. I'm going to create a brand new app from scratch, and I'm going to call it Sales Analysis Dashboard, and I'm going to open that up. And the first thing it's going to ask me is for a bit of data. So what I'll do is I'll go back to my desktop. I've got the pharmaceutical data right there, and I'm gonna pull it down into the app, and um, ClickSense is going to look at that spreadsheet. It's going to look at all the tabs and ask me if I want to load in all those tabs and which columns in those tabs I'd like to load. In this case, I'm going to just load all of them. So there we go, that's the first step. We've connected to the data source and now we're going to start creating a dashboard. So the first step is to say we want a, a pie chart and I'm going to put the pie chart on the left-hand side over here and I'm going to look at it by market, and I want to look at the sales value, which is a field called value. It asks me if I want to sum it or count it or average it, I just want to sum it, and that gives me my first pie chart, which I'll make into a donut, and I'm going to call that sales by market. So there's my first pie chart. I'll copy that because it's good, and I want to replicate it, not with market this time, but I want to change that perhaps into another field called the region. So I'll just grab the region, put it on top of the chart and says, do you want to replace market? And I'm going to say yes. Um, I'll say that is sales by region. So I'm just going to rename that quickly. And again, I'm going to just copy that same chart into the space on the right hand side over here. And I would like to analyze my products as well. So I'm going to replace the region with products and I will convert that into a bar chart. Convert to a bar chart. Let's maybe turn it on its side and put some labels on. And let's have a look at the colors. Let's not just have blue, let's make it multicolor by dimension. So that's sales by product. Let's make a little bit of space. It's nice to have a trend graph at the bottom. So we'll put a line chart at the bottom there. We're going to look for a year, month to get the trend and again we're going to just pull the sales value over there and let's just make that an area chart show the value points and show the values on it and let's name it sales trend at the top we'll put a KPI so we just want to know the actual number so what I'll do there is just say that's value some value and I'll just call that sales so you can see what it is and then in this last space over here, let's put the, the prescriptions that we've got, that the doctors have made, sum the prescriptions, and I'll just call that quantity. So there we go. Um, I've got my first sales analysis. You can see I've got 48 million of sales versus, versus a quantity of 158,000. So if I'm looking at the hypertension market and depression market, for the southwest and the north central and say the northeast for my top five products and i want to look at it from january through to december click there four or five clicks and that's the result so i'm looking at the two markets depression hypertension for those three regions for the top five products um, and for the last 12 months so you don't have to stop there uh, you can say for instance let's create a new sheet i'll just create one more Let's create a correlation um, and let's put a scatter chart over there. Let's look at the doctors this time. Let's compare the prescriptions. So we want to see the number of prescriptions and the value of, of sales that were made on a correlation chart. And there we have it. So I can zoom into that, into that data and you'll see as we zoom in, so the names of the doctors become more apparent. Um, I can also kill the selections I made on the previous screen. And now on this screen, we could go in here and with this lasso, 
we could maybe just analyze these high value customers or sales. And you'll see I've selected 90 doctors of the 679. If I come back to the previous sheet, that data is all updated. So very interactive, very quick. Um, and this is literally in five minutes. This is what one can do. So that's all I'm going to be showing for today. Thanks for being with me.